Hello and welcome back into Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. It's been a few days, but we are back for another rip here tonight. Tonight we're going to do another little bit of a mixer. Um, when I've done other mixers in the past and, and seen other YouTubers do mixers, you know, the common theme I seem to say is if you're mixing Panini and Topps is that Topps is always going to be the clear winner because they've got the logos. As much as I like the, the optic and the prism designs, I do have to lean that way, that the, the logo is a big deal. So tonight I thought I would do three different Topps products. Now, it says Bowman, but we all know Bowman is actually a Topps product. So we have got three different value packs that we are going to rip tonight and see what we can find. I've got 2020 Gypsy Queen, probably my fa one of my favorites, if not my favorite set for the year, Bowman and 2020 Chrome. Chrome is beautiful, but Gypsy Queen is the one that really solidified my interest back into the hobby. Diamond Kings is what opened the door, but Gypsy Queen, man, that really hooked me. So we're going to get into these and see if we can find anything fun. Um, if you like what you're seeing here on the channel, hit the like, uh, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Would love to have you following along. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card is. Um, or if there's, you know, something that I missed. I've missed things in the past. We'd just love to hear from you and see how you're doing. Follow me on Instagram at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. I post video or pictures of stuff I pull over there as well from time to time. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this. I think we're going to just do this like I've done it in the past. We're going to op open them in order of release. And so we'll do Chrome last, Bowman second, and Gypsy Queen first. In this particular value pack, we are going to get three packs each have six cards in them and then a three pack exclusive or three exclusive green parallel cards now depending on where you bought these and i think the th same might be true for chrome and a couple other products you you might get five exclusive green parallels i know i've purchased value packs in the past and i don't remember what the difference is or what the stores are um but sometimes you get the three packs and five exclusive green parallels cards. I did a pack battle war or whatever with Steel Family Cards. That's S T E E L E Family Cards. A while back, where we each ripped some value packs of Gypsy Queen, and mine had the five cards, the five green parallels, and his had three. So just an interesting little tidbit. Um, so depending on where you buy, whether it be Walmart or Target, there may be some differences. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Again, like I said, this was probably the set that really kind of solidified my re-entry into the hobby this last spring. I don't know. I'm trying to, if you can see the odds and all that good stuff there. It's kind of rough. Anyhow. So like I said, we've got our three packs. Each have six cards. Um, hopefully we find something fun. I already like that first green parallel. All right, let's do it. Let's get into these. As you can see, I, I'm a Cubs fan. I collect Rizzo cards. He's the guy I collect primarily, but any Cub will be fine. And then I've got my other cards here. We've got Lugo, Dawa Lugo. So this is what the back of these cards look like. Nick Senzel, Aaron Savale, Brandon Woodruff. <gasps> okay. Um... And, and Dalton Simmons and Matt Chapman. So with Gypsy Queen, and you saw it, um, you've got all sorts of vari variations. You've got the logo swap. You've got no names down here. You've got jersey differences. One of the parallels is the bazooka back. And I just pulled a bazooka back of Mr. Brandon Woodruff, I believe. It took me forever as I bought a ton of Gypsy Queen and I could not pull a bazooka back for the life of me, but here we go. There's one. Aaron Savali, Nick Senzel, Dawa Lugo. All right, so there's typically you're, you might, you're going to get one kind of insert per pack like this. And now that's, well, that may not actually be totally true. <laughs> that's my odds. In these three packs, you're going to get two or three inserts on the typical, so... Let's see here what else. In our second pack, we have got Jake Fraley, Alberto Mondesi, 
Ozzy Albies, Agrizal, Colton Wong, and Marcus Simeon. We do have the opportunity to pull Luis Robert from all of these, and I believe in Kyle Lewis as well. Some of the big hot rookies at the at the moment. Keen Wong. Not Colton Wong. Keen Wong, sorry. And our backs look good. No logo swaps. Everybody's got a name. All right. So that pack, after saying that most packs have an insert of some sort, that one did not. So there you go. Proves me wrong. All right. And yep, we do. We've got a fortune teller card, I bet, in here. Will Smith. Paul DeYoung. We've got a Dom Nunez. We have got a Michael Chavis fortune teller card. This one is not numbered. This is a base one. Andreas Munoz. And is that Austin? Austin Nola from the Mariners. All right. So, got a bazooka back. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what our green parallels are. Like I said, I that first one I like because I'm a Cubs fan. And we'll show you again here in a second if I can get this cheaper plastic open without damaging the cards. See, we got a KB, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant, Fran Mill Reyes, same back, and Eric Hosmer. All right, so cool. I'll take it. Good deal. Nice Gypsy Queen. Let's get into our Bowman. This is the, oh yeah, let's just do it. Two Bowman packs. Each pack have 12 cards. And then our five camo parallels. I did not hardly buy any of these value packs this year. I, When the product first came out and I happened to upon it the first two times, I, especially the first time, I kind of did the math on per cards. And this didn't seem like a very good deal compared to blasters and value packs. And so I stuck to those two, or the fat packs. I stuck to those primarily. I'm kind of wishing I would have done a few more of these. This is the last of these I have left, and so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So we're looking at 27 cards, oh, 12, 12, and 5, unless there's some crazy insert, because they do say in the fine print, if there's a fancy schmancy insert, sometimes the card count will be different. We will save our camos until last, and we'll just do these now. Hopefully we get some fun color or an autograph or some cool chrome. We will just have to see. I think we don't. There's something fun in here. It's not a, I don't think it's a color though. Maurizio Dubon, Michael Baez, Travis Demerit, Ian Anderson, 1990 Bowman style throwback. Kind of cool. I'm going to create two little stacks here for Oscar Gonzalez, Aramis Aidman, Luis Garcia. We've got a paper on this side. Josiah Gray, Jess, Jaseel De La Cruz, our other two chromes, so nothing spectacular. Austin Nola, Logan Allen, and Justin Dunn. So that first pack, not spectacular. We've got a Nomar Mazzara, Xander Bogertz. We've got a Casey Mize um, spanning the globe. Chrome, a Andres Jimenez, Jimenez, Bowman. Hey, look at that guy, Bowman Scouts Top One Hundred. Nice Chrome. We've got a pretty dang sweet. Luis Robert Prospects card. There you go. That's the guy card du jour at the moment. We've got Nico Holsizer, first Bowman. Taylor Trammell, paper. Not nice one. He's a good player. Jazz Chisholm, Austin Beck, Pro Prospect Chrome cards. Christian Yelich, Ramon Laureano. And Mike Yastrzemski. 
And we are finally to our Camo Parallel pack. I'm going to pull something fun in here. Did not, like I said, I this actually may have been the only one of these value packs that I bought now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so, let's see who we got. Blake Rutherford, Tristan Casas, Joe Adele, Brian Campusano, and Taylor Trammell. Again, he's not bad. All right, so Bowman, not anything super duper amazing, but we got this nice Luis Robert prospect paper worth a few few shekels. Nothing crazy, though. <clears throat> All right, and finally, we are into Chrome. We have got three Chrome packs, five exclusive pink parallel refractor cards. This is actually one of those products, I think, that does sometimes you can get five, sometimes you get three. Um, so we've got each pack has four cards. So that's three times four is 12 plus five is 17 cards approximately. I think my math is correct on all that. So we will save our pinks for last and just kind of go through these. Like I said, if you're liking what you're seeing, if I'm missing something or overlooking a prospect from those Bowman cards, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and get your insights and expertise because I am far from the most educated of individuals. Hands are Alberto. Yu Chang. AJ Puck. Nice. And, well, looky, looky. Not terribly well-centered, but still a very nice card. We got some nice ones in there. My pal, uh, the guys over, uh, Haas over at Haas of Cards is going to like that Yu Chang. Check out his channel, too. He's a lot of fun over there. Does all sorts of cool sports cards. So we've had some nice pulls tonight. Trevor Williams, Andrew Heaney, Dan Vogelbach, and our final card is a Jake or Jack Flaherty. That's our refractor from the pack. That is one of this is one of those packs that you're going to get something in every pack, whether it be a refractor or a prism refractor or an insert like this eighty these eighty five. Um, Parallels or um, whatever. Cards. I'm not speaking well tonight. You're going to get something unique in each pack. So we've got Brendan Lau or Lowe. Brandon Lau. Mike Soroka. <laughs> a nice Jordan Alvarez. And a freshman flash Sheldon Noice or Noose, or however you say his name. We're going to just go ahead and put him in. Let's set Jordan next to Luis. Wow. And put these other guys up here, too. And finally, into our pinks. <clears throat> I was watching the... Clicked over to the Cubs-White Sox game tonight. I'm a, Like I said, I'm a lifelong Cubs fan and diehard. And the Cubs were playing the White Sox, and I tuned in for about 30 seconds, just long enough to see. Luis Robert just hit a bullet into the stands in the outfield and hit a home run. So that was fun. <laughs> and yeah, we're now into our pink inserts. We've got five of these in our security card. So we've got Ramon Laureano. These are really just nice-looking cards. And Eugenio Suarez. Carlos... Correa. We got a little sticky action going on here. Bryce Harper, obviously. I'll just. And our last card is a. And Drelton Simmons. So nothing particularly crazy in our pinks. That nice Bryce Harper. But beyond that, pretty, pretty standard. So we have got a nice. In our, let's just kind of hit our highlights. A nice KB, green parallel for me, personal collection, Michael Chavis, 
Fortune Teller and the Brandon Woodruff Bazooka back for the Gypsy Queen. Not a lot of spectacular stuff in the Bowman, but we did get a nice Luis Robert Prospect card. And then with our Chrome, we got a Luis Robert 85 35th Anniversary style card, as well as a really nice just Jordan Alvarez base. So that was a pretty fun little rip. <clears throat> that was a fun little rip. So I haven't opened Gypsy Queen in a long time. Um, so yeah, if you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up, hit that like button. Let me know that you like it. It really helps out the channel and I would, you know, just like to know what you like. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. If you want to keep hearing when I post stuff, it's been a couple days. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Would love to have you follow me over there as well. I hope you're doing well tonight, staying safe, staying healthy, and all that good stuff, recovering from your week. Have a great weekend. And as always, be good to one another, be kind to one another, care for one another, and love for love one another. And we'll see you next time here at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Take care, folks.